Hi everybody, my name's Jason DeWild and I'm the Head of Audio here at the Australian Institute of Music and welcome to part two on our series of Beginner's Guide for Pro Tools. In this part, we're going to be looking at session management, how to keep your files organised and making sure that whenever you move a project from one computer to another, that everything goes along with it. Here we go. Okay. So today we're going to talk a little bit um, about, about uh, session management. It's such an important aspect of using Pro Tools just to keep yourself organized because without good session management, you're going to end up with error messages like this where you try and open a Pro Tools project that you might have been working on already and it's, you're going to get an error message like this where the screen is blank where there should be audio waveforms and you're going to get an error message saying you know audio files missing um, and trying to find them now this is a very very common problem for people just starting out with pro tools um, and the reason why um, one of the main reasons why this is actually happening is because people don't have just a, a good understanding of what happens with a pro tools project so I'm just going to push this over to one side for a second um, and just talk to you a little bit about, about this. So this is the PTX file and when most people think of a Pro Tools session, most people actually think about this simple PTX file. And so when, you know, if you haven't been used to Pro Tools, people say, oh, can you hand me your Pro Tools session? And they just give them this PTX file, okay? Now this PTX file is actually only part of an entire project. The actual project is this whole project folder, which is here. So inside this Pro Tools project, there are a number of other different folders and files, okay? Now, one of which is this PTX thing, right? So what happens, this is the way you should actually have it. So when, some, when you're asked to provide a Pro Tools project or you want to move a project from one thing to the other, you don't move just the PTX file. You need to move the whole folder associated with this project. This PTX file talks to these other um, these other folders. So if you just have it sitting outside on the desktop or something like that, you've broken the link that was set up when this session was actually created. So you need to make sure that at all times any file or folder associated with this project sits inside the main project folder. Okay. Now, not all of these uh, folders are actually being created by Pro Tools. This one here, these yellow ones, are actually ones that I've created. And this, again, is good for sort of keeping your working environment up and happening. So um, if you're creating, a, a, if you're using a Pro Tools project and you've created one, I often create additional folders just for my own working. So additional files, for example, might be something that I might put, you know, song lyrics in, or I might put reference tracks, or maybe even, you know, a chord chart or something like that goes into the additional folders, additional files folder. Um, whenever I do a mix, I'll create a bounces folder. So all my mixes that are related to this particular song are sitting here. And then the Z archives folder are all older um, Pro Tools uh, documents that were re still relate to this overall session and I'll explain a little bit about my working with regards to that. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to um, go back to Pro Tools. We've still got this error message here and the reason as I said is because that PTX file was sitting outside of the main Pro Tools project. So I'm just actually going to um, quit all this now. Uh, no, I don't want to these tasks I'm just going to quit everything yep I won't save it okay all right so now I'm going to just relaunch Pro Tools again and now that the PTX file is back inside this folder everything should link up just swimmingly so I'm opening Pro Tools 10 at the moment now it's also very common um, that you're going to get even sometimes even when this all happens you might get what looks like an error message um, so we're just going to work through some of these so here all of a sudden as I've opened up my Pro Tools session an error message has come up now the reason why this one is particular come up is just actually related to my system my system normally looks for an iPad that I have connected and I use my iPad quite a bit with Pro Tools 
skills um, but it's just realizing that um, it's not there at the moment so there's three kind of error messages that come up about that one so I'm just going to click OK then it looks like it goes to another thing and then it comes up with this sort of session notes message and this sometimes happens when plugins are not uh, found in your particular system so my my session that I did on another computer had AMP Farm as part of that Pro Tools project, and now it's suddenly saying that the one I'm, the system I'm currently opening it up doesn't have AMP Farm there. So it's just, um, do I want a detailed report about that? So basically, what's going to happen is AMP Farm is going to be deactive. So I'm just going to say, nah, I don't want a report about that one. Okay, and then the session comes up exactly as per normal. Okay, so. I'd let it bring you bliss. All right, so we're all good. Okay, so I opened up that PTX file. Now, I just want to quickly explain a little bit about my methods of working, and this, again, is helping you with session management. Okay, so if you look at my session, uh, my session is called Bliss-MicroLecture, and it's got this six-digit number. This six-digit number is my way of working, and it's um, I actually use the date. So mine is uh, year, month, and day, okay? So we are now on the uh, 26th of September. So the very first thing, as soon as I actually launch a Pro Tools session, okay, the very first thing I do after that is to do this command. I go to the file menu and I choose save as. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a new PTX file. Okay, it's still going to be related to the overall Pro Tools session, but it just saves it as a different, um, as another PTX file. And I'm going to give it today's date. So it's the year, the month, and the day, which is the 26th today. And I'm then going to hit save. Okay, so it then keeps giving me back the new session and this time with today's date. Now, the reason I do this, right, is that if I'm today, if I was to make a mistake about anything, I can always go back what my previous session was. Okay, so I'm just creating a new session each and every single time. So tomorrow, if I was to work on this session again, I'd go file, save as, and I'd do tomorrow's date, the 27th. And that would create um, there's another PTX file under two as uh, 27. So that way you're always just working and the most you can lose if something ever happens is your current day's work, okay? Which is still a lot, but um, at least you're not ruining the entire session. Another why this, this is good is that if you use it in this order with the year, the month, and the date, what actually happens is you'll end up with a whole bunch of PTX files in a row inside your main project folder. And you'll always know that the last one that you used is always going to be at the bottom of the list. So when you use 140927, that's going to be underneath this one, etc., etc. So it's always a good habit to kind of save your sessions um, in that format. Um, and uh, that's really, you know, part of the sort of, sort of, I guess the main rules is to kind of keep saving your um, session. So when you start a new day, do a save as. And of course, as the day progresses, you must keep saving. So the command here is command S. You must keep doing that. Now, Pro Tools is a pretty uh, stable uh, platform, but, um, you know, it has... Uh, I've certainly known it to crash um, on a number of occasions, so you really don't want to lose too much of your work. So get into that constant habit of Command S, Command S, save, save, save. Um, and that means that if it does crash unexpectedly, you won't be losing a huge amount of your work. And at worst, if you've done the save as, you'll only lose today's work at this point. So I hope you enjoyed that little micro lecture on session management and keeping your files organized. Next in our series of Beginner's Guide for Pro Tools, we're going to be looking at the different track types. Until then, see you later.